Hello, 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 everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I am Jay Lee. This is Jay Lee's Corner. This is my review for um, Housewives of Atlanta season 13, episode 13, 10, 10, 20. Yes, this is the episode where we see Cynthia get married. It really felt like a filler episode. I'm mad that I recorded it versus recording the Grammys. Um, because I had other shows recording, I couldn't record them all at the same time. And I'm like, well, I can't watch Housewives later because, again, I have to review it. And I don't think the Grammys will be good. And I'm like, I record this. I could have watched the Grammys, okay? But I'm going to leave that be. First things first, if you have not done so already, make sure to subscribe to my channel to so become a whole J-Bird, J-Bird, dun, 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 and all that goodness and stuff. Do not forget to like this video, uh, comment in the comment section, hit the share button, share it on your social media. You can also follow me on Twitter and IG at J underscore Lee's underscore corner. Uh, always relax and relate and release and send yourself and everyone around you. Always inhale and exhale, okay? Because Sam's girl, sometimes we forget. I'm so used to doing these live, it's weird, but I record it because I'm like, where my graphics at? Where my graphics? I ain't got time, okay? Anyway, let's get to this boring-ass episode because um, I feel like I've said everything I'm supposed to say. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, so it was the day before her wedding and we see Cynthia Candy Mal, you know, Cynthia's sister, uh, Eva, who was a bridesmaid, and Kenya at Cynthia's house for the pre the, the rehearsal dinner the day before. Now, um, the weather has changed. The so things that were supposed to be outside and spacious have now been moved to inside. Okay, a lot of things went wrong on her wedding, but I feel like, girl, you've seen a lot of things going on. You should just either postponed it or not made it such a big to do. Okay, because again, it was a pandemic, Cynthia. It was a whole pandemic, but I'm going to leave that be as well. Now, we see her mama was, like, beef with the grandmama. That was kind of crazy. Her daddy could not come because, like, you know, it's COVID. I ain't coming out right now. I'm scared or whatnot. So, her daddy didn't, couldn't, couldn't make it. Um, just things were happening or whatever. You know, we see Mal bringing up the bachelorette party because, again, Mal didn't come. And she also felt some kind of way about that. Now, we then see them sitting around chit-chatting because Mal brought up not coming to the bachelorette party. Eva then brings up, the blog said this. And the blog said that. Girl, the blog, the blog, the blogs, you know. Breaking up who was munching on who at that bachelorette party. Which then has Kenya, well, you know they was munching on each other's coochies or whatever. And Portia bang bolo. And Portia going to try to make me out to be a liar. I can see it coming. And Candy then say, well, I saw people putting their lips on lips and tips and, and all this stuff. Which then makes Kenya say that and it wasn't people with lips on a face it was a cooch lips i'm like girl i could not now the producers asked kenya you know in her, in her confession why is she so determined to talk about what happened and expose whatever happened in south carolina and kenya say because they did it around people and if you know if you did, you did it around people and not, not only that if it was me it would be exposed and i'm like <sighs> Okay, you know, Candy brings up her confession that she feels as if, you know, she don't see why anyone is being shamed for whatever they may have done sexually as adults. I feel like Kenya is putting 20 on 10, and I'm not saying Kenya's lying, but she's making some a mountain of a mole hill. Portia never called Kenya a liar per se, okay, but she's never denied anything okay at the end of the day um i feel like portia hasn't said shit because she feels as if it's no one's business and also kenya is the only one pushing the issue and kenya has never directly said portia's name she may allude to portia she may um you know make speculation to portia but she has not said portia's name all right which i feel is a pussy move because if you're going to implicate me or, you know, make an assumption that it's me, just say my name. But the one time Porsche, like, you know, come on me. And King said, no, I have not said your name. And Porsche went, well, okay, well I, well, I ain't got nothing to say. You know what I'm saying? If you have not directly addressed me, I'm not finna to directly confirm, deny, refuse, or whatever. I'm just going to not say shit. And I think that's how everyone else was looking at it, too. 
Kenya is the one who wants a definite uh, person on the show to say Portia. And no one is saying Portia. They're all saying, yes, we know some, something happened. But again, we not going to put no fingers or whatever. I'm not girl, bye. Now, we then see at Shamia how she's having a don't judge me party for the nieces. But she invited Marlo. I'm like, but Marlo is the age of an auntie. And she's she is literally an auntie. But I guess, you know, they got to shoot a scene. So, with Shamia, Portia, Drew... Marlo and Latoya. I'm like, Lord Jesus Christ. Now, they're discussing how the ladies um were on, at this point in time in, in May show, uh, the cast were on social media saying it wasn't me. Because, again, the blogs picked up somebody was munching on somebody and blah, 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 blah. So they all claimed saying it wasn't me in the blogs or whatever and on their social media. We see Kenya put up it wasn't me. We seen Marlo put up it wasn't me. We seen... Uh, Latoya put up it wasn't me. I think Shamia did too. And one way or the other. Now Marla brings up because her 13 year old nephew was asking her, what the fuck did you do up there auntie? What did you do? Because he sees social media. So she said that's the reason that she put up that it was not her. She didn't do that in any sort of alliance or connection to or to kiss up to or suck up to Kenya. Uh, because King was the first one I believe that put up it wasn't me. Portia and them put up like, you know, girls wanna have fun. So each of them put up something, you know, alluding to things being speculated at the little party or whatever. But again, it was what it was. And Marlo then gets on not Marlo, Portia. Portia first says how I feel like Kenya making up with Marlo is kinda of BS a little bit because Kenya liked to find gullible which did you say gullible and vulnerable? Gullible and something. Gullible and hope for people to be on her side because she needs allies. I do 100% believe Kenya liked having people on her side. Do I think Marlo's gullible? No. I don't, not at all. But I do think Marlo will listen one way or the other before picking a side um, in this whole thing. And I do think she wants to be friends with Kenya, but I don't think she'll be gullible enough enough to be Kenya's puppet. Okay, I, I don't think that. But, you know, we shall see. Um, Marlo brings up how she's not going to allow anyone to... She, she, and Marlo said this in the scene, how she doesn't want anyone to think they can, you know, dictate or de determine who her friends can be. Not even Portia. You know what I'm saying? No one can pick my friends. And, well, I don't know what you mean, but I don't know what that mean. You know what I'm saying? I don't want... Like, I'm the same way. I don't want to pick no one's friends. So, leave me be. Again, in my opinion, Portia is not a denying... Or she's just not saying shit. She's like, why y'all care? Why is Kenya pushing this issue? Kenya wants it to be an issue. I'm not going to give her that back. Anyway, we then see when Toya gets there, um, she comes in in good spirits or whatever and trying to have a good time. And I'm like, fine, fine, fine. So Toya then brings up the story of being posted in the blogs and things on social media. And so she says to Portia that we know what Kenya said and she heard you um, saying, fuck me harder, fuck me harder. That's gonna, I hope that don't get my page flagged. <laughs> um, but how, poor, how Kenya said that it had to be her and Tanya saying that with Bolo. And Portia said, well, that's not true. This is the first time we have seen Portia say something Kenya said wasn't true. Kenya saying she heard me say, fuck me harder is not true. Okay, so I'm like, okay, again, that's what she denied, that's what she denied. And Shamia then asked her, well, did Kenya ask you to ask her that? Because why is this the topic of conversation? And Toya then said, well, I feel like it was Kenya who leaked the story, in my opinion. And Portia said, no, I think you leaked it. I think it was you, you know, who did that or whatever, because you coming in here asking me questions based on lies that Kenya is spreading. You know what I'm saying? So, why would I think that you did not leak it or whatever? And Toya, well, it wasn't me. I didn't do it. Mm -mm. It was not me. I don't even really care. And now I'm like, but you do. Because for Toya to say she don't care, why is you bringing it up? Talk about anything else. Drew then jumps in and said, mm -mm. you care because you was more asked if it was me that fucked him or whatever. And even said what kind of married woman would be dancing on a stripper. So you do care about whatever happened. Blah, 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 blah. Well, then Toya said to Drew, well, you the one who said, you know, that I don't care about, you no, know, I don't honor marriage. And, you know, how can you, Drew, 
honor me if you the one up here grinding on some tripper. And I feel like Toya shut the fuck up. At a bachelorette party, if someone who happened to marry to be married danced with a stripper, that does not mean they do not honor marriage. Now, if you are going through a separation and or divorce, but you are telling other people who may also be separated from their husband that they should go out on dates, that is what she meant by your ass don't care about marriage because even if you want to go out and fuck and suck on someone else while you are in the process of divorce, that does not mean you should encourage other people to do the same. People who do that usually don't care about what marriage, okay, but I'm leaving that be. So in that whole debacle, Drew replies to Toya, that's why your husband trying to, I said, oh, don't do it. Don't, Drew, don't say it. Don't say it. But Drew said that that's why your husband is trying to cancel your ass. I was like, oh. She said it. Um, <laughs> Drew was out for blood, if you ask me. But I think Toya has a way of saying reckless shit. And people, I think Drew responded recklessly back to her. Because, you know, for her to say, well, you don't care about your marriage because you was grinding on Tripper, I think it pissed Drew off. Mainly because it probably was something that, right, that roused at her as well. And so she got mad, which is why her response was, we just went, that's why your husband wants to cancel you, okay? And I'm not what he do because he won't even allow her to. Toya on this show, you would never know that she was a wife and a mother. I did not know she had kids. I swear I did not. I'm like, she's, a, she's someone's mother? Really? She has to make a decision for children? She just seems so dumb, dumb, ditty. And so, I don't know. Two plus two is seven. A little bit. I'm like, oh, she's a parent? Okay. I mean, I guess so. So, anyway, when Drew passed by her, you know, husband wanted to counsel her. Toya then says back to her that, well, your marriage is struggling. I said, oh, not a struggling marriage. Which made Drew say some lies. I'm like, Drew, you're lying, girl. Drew then said, I have the perfect marriage, I have a perfect hairline, and I have three perfect children. So do not speak on what you do not know. Now, your hairline could be perfect. I don't know because I ain't seen it. You may have perfect kids, but all kids ain't perfect either. But we damn sure know your marriage is not perfect. It may be perfect for what it is, but it's perfect. No one's marriage is perfect. And even if she meant right now we good, then say right now we good. But you can't use the words, I have the perfect marriage. Because you don't, Drew. You don't. Okay? I'm going to leave that be as well. And she then so you think you're Latoya forever? How about Latoya never, never, ever, bitch? I was like, oh, come on now. I think her YouTube channel is called Latoya Forever. And so, I mean, to come up and say Latoya Forever, no, no, bitch. Latoya never, ever, bitch. I said, I'm not Latoya never, ever. Never, ever, 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 bitch. I was like, I tackled, okay? And keep my name out your mouth, bitch. I said, oh, my God, okay? But... Drew feel like Toya touched her and so she retaliated. Now, Marlo, in the meantime, in between time, is dancing around because it's entertaining what's going on. You see a uh, Portia who's sitting, like, just so calmly. And the boy, I have a picture. She was just so calm sitting around them. Do I have it? She was just, like, <laughs> In the middle. I mean, just sitting in the middle of them like, hmm, must be some bullshit afoot. Hmm, didn't know what's bullshit afoot. Hmm, because it was just reckless endangerment of the bullshit or whatever. And she was like, okay, I'm going to let them be. But I mean, it was a whole back and forth or whatever. And Drew then starts twerking. You know what I'm saying? I'm, yeah, I twerked on that man and my husband. Didn't care. So don't try me. You know, you never ever have to speak for me. And as long as you don't, we good. Okay. It's easy. Like one plus one. So as long as you can count, we good. I said, oh my God. It's just Drew. <laughs> Drew went off. Drew wholeheartedly went off. Did Toya deserve that? Is it Toya? Or Toya, whatever. Did she deserve it? I think so. I think she did. Um, You can't be pushing buttons and think people won't react. I'm happy no one fought. I'm happy, you know, it didn't go too far. But Drew point was, keep my name out your mouth. Period. Okay. Was all your never, never. Anyway, Portia then asked Toya, okay, what's your point in all? What's your point in bringing all this up here? Like, for what? Poor Kay. And 
I feel like to can you lick the it? Oh my bad to Kenya. So Kenya, she thinks can you lick the it girl? Fix it. She thinks Kenya leaked the info. We then see the flashback of Kenya saying, if the story was in uh, B. Scott, then it probably was me. And that was where the story came from that they're talking about. Mm -hmm. She then brings up, like, Kenya told her the little story about her, Portia, and Tanya all having a threesome. And we then see the flashback of Kenya saying that to her as well. <clears throat> so her point was, I think Kenya was the one leaking this bit of info and then they said well how are you even you know being cool wherever you know she's the girl if you know she's leaking bullshit and she brings up the blogs you know said that but again kenya's having a hard time you know, saying she's going through some things oh what's she going through what is she going through well you know she's going to divorce and her husband is asking for alimony now no one knew that and the fact that toya told kenya's enemies if you ask me her personal i'm like no you don't do that because when you and candy talk she told you kenya didn't want people knowing that information or whatever so her sharing that with portia shamia marlo and drew um drew then said you know you should really watch and be careful how you tell someone else's you know, someone else's business, like, you should not divulge her personal information. The fact that Drew said that to me speaks volumes. And then, when she tried to clear it up or whatever, well, I'm just saying, like, you know, divorce is hard, like, she's going through it. Portia, you know, you divorce. She was like, bitch, don't try me. No, uh, you, you know what? You be out here spread to other people's bitches. I can't have that or whatever. And I was like, I just, it was messy. Toya is a flip flopper back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And um, it's just bullshit. And Portia, like, I'm not going to sit up here and act as if, you know, Toya don't have ulterior motives or whatever. Like, you are Kenya's friends, and you her friend, but you keep trying to come and be my friend. I don't know why, you know what I'm saying? Um, and that's why I keep asking you if you're okay with what she do. Because if you're okay with what she do, we can't be cool or whatever. And so, she said, I'm going to keep letting Toya live up Kenya's ass because the rent is cheap there. Nothing really happened from this. I mean, I think it is show that Latoya is a flip-flopper. You know what I'm saying? And she don't realize how to be loyal, even though she does not owe Kenya any loyalty. Because, again, they just met. Okay? They just met. But I still don't want someone I just met on my info and telling someone else. So, boom, pow, pow. Okay? Now, we then see Cynthia's wedding. I have photos, and I'm like, that's really it. So, she was a beautiful bride. Um, she brings up how this time felt right, okay? You know, last time, 10 years ago, Mary and Peter was some bullshit. Nothing felt right, and she did it anyway. She said, but this time, it feels so right. I love him so much. I love everything about him. Even the ball spot forming on the top of his head, okay? I think that that's love. That's but again, we already talked about her wedding, Okay. Um, we have seen most of all, mostly all of this when it happened um, back in October, so ain't no need to go over it again. Now, at the wedding, we do hear a hot mic conversation via Eva. Eva was mic'd, talking to a guest. We don't know who she was talking to, but we heard them asking about, oh, yeah, what about the look, the, the coochie eating conversation or whatever. Eva, who wasn't there... Eva was not on the trip, okay? But she tells someone else that, yeah, they was looking on each other before the party started. They made out, uh, they made Bola pull a dick out, okay? And that's what made them get fucked, is what Eva said. And I was like, the fact that they use audio from a former housewife who was not on the show this season is hilarious. I'm my like, y'all ain't shit. And clearly, we know someone told her that. The question is, who told her that? Because, it, again, it had to be either Candy, Cynthia, or Kenya. So, which one of they messy asses told Eva, which then made Eva messy ass talk about it at the wedding? Girl, and they, like, you should always know as a person on TV or within radio, you never say shit like that. When you're wearing a mic because you you they're always recording. They're always recording. You have to take your mic off. Anyway, we then see a Dennis a Dennis. A dinner scene between Porsche and Dennis. To me, it was team too much. Um Porsche brings up how Dennis went on social media 
um, and he put up that he was single. She said because he was upset that he he felt like Portia did not want him to come to the wedding because he thought she would bring a date. So he went on social media like the day before or day of the wedding and put I'm single as fuck, making people believe that he and Portia just recently broke up. When in actual the tea they had broke up a while ago and no one knew. And she said, I also felt like he, he did at a time which made people feel like, oh, the rumors about her fucking bolo must be true. And so that's why they broke up and that was not true. So they talking, okay. Um, I felt like their conversation was which one of them is more single. They're tired about fuss about who's single, who's not single, or him making her feel as if she's wrong for being single when she is single. Or like he's making her feel as if they're still, they're still a couple and things she's doing as a single woman aren't right. It was some back and forth of them both feeling that exact same way. Okay. I feel like they are a couple who are over but don't know how to be over because they have a baby. And she brought up how if we did not have PJ, we would not be having this issue because, again, you would get over me and I would get over you. So that's the hard part. And when he said, well, I don't even really know why we broke up. I don't even know what happened. And she brings up how well, I got to a point to where I was no longer okay with us being a couple, but you have your own spot and us not living together. And he said, because you put me out three times. So can you put me out three times? So it doesn't make sense for us to live together because you keep putting me out when I do something wrong. I'm not going to stop doing shit wrong. Um, he also brings up how when they can they get into it, her mom takes her side. She's supposed to. She's her mother. Um, he said, we will get into it or whatever. And then when I call your mama to discuss things about PJ, she won't talk to me. And then I'm not able to, you know, communicate about my child. And which makes poor, oh, no, I would not do that. I would not. You know, I don't have time with my daddy all the time. <clears throat> I don't have my father in my life all the time. So I would never, um, want my daughter to have daddy issues because of things that we going through. Uh, but I feel like Portia, if your mama don't answer his calls about your daughter and your mama have the daughter, your mama can't do that. Okay, you can't do that. You should not prevent the daddy from talking to the kid or about the kid because you met him for the shit that y'all going through. So again, she admits that she's not perfect and how she's not a bitch, but she's trying to protect herself and that's why sometimes she do whatever about not talking to him um he say he's tired of being vulnerable i'm like vulnerable for what i was confused at that point in time whatever and then she said how they both are just tired of the back and forth and so they both want to have better communication and they want to heal from the, the romantic side of their relationship i was like so this scene was for what i mean if y'all already broke up why y'all having a conversation on camera about breaking up? I guess so. I mean, I just felt like this episode wasn't needed. We had already seen the wedding. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't care. I'm done. That was the whole episode. I was, I was like, whatever. I don't care. I'm sleeping. Good night. Peace.